Okay, we're going to break down a couple of exercises for you uh, involving arms and legs and, of course, the torso. For the very beginner dancer, an introduction in, to floor work. Right. So we're going to start simply with the arms. She's lying on her back, <coughs> legs in a resting position and bent, and she's <coughs> just going to move her arms in a big wide circle around the body. The arms are completely relaxed on the floor. You will find that many young people who are starting to dance will actually find that quite difficult, but over a period of time it happens. So we make a big wide circle over eight counts and we go one, two, three, four, five, relaxed on the floor all the way, seven, eight and down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we do it over four counts. One, two, three, four, and down, six, four counts again. And one, two, three, four, and down, six. Now over two counts. And one, two, still relax, three, four, five, six, seven, again, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now one count, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and relax, okay? That's just to get air into the shoulders, elbows, and wrist joints, and to get a solid movement of the arms. Now, we um, work with the legs, and this exercise is an attempt to get some ease in the hip and knee joint in particular. Usually, when people uh, start to dance, the overwhelming majority of young students are very tight in the joint. Okay, So, basically, He's lying in, in as comfortable position as he can get. This amount of turnout is going to vary drastically with every student. It depends on how much release there is in the joint. Okay? And we're just going to ask him to release the legs forward and go and one and back and two and back. Slow it down. Three and back and four and back. Five, and back, and six, and back, and seven, and back, and eight, and back. Okay, so that's just an action to get some, it's a very, very simple action, and it's to get some ease into the joints. Now, we're going to start rolling the pelvis from side to side. And it's important that the action comes from the pelvis, and the legs merely respond to what the pelvis is doing. So he's going to roll towards me. Come. And just allow the legs to flop. And then back. And remember, the action is coming from the hip. Okay? And the legs are responding to the rotation of the hip. And other way. Over and back. Gently. Okay. We're just going to do eight of those. And uh, one, and back, and two, and back. Move from the hip, three, and back, and four, and back, and five, and back, and six, and back, and seven, and back, and eight. Now we find that with lots of repetition, with the very simple exercises like this, Further down the line, it pays dividends. There are more complex movements, and we will show you now as we move along, that, are, that the young student has access to by having started off with such simple exercises. Right, next stage, uh, again, a reasonably simple exercise. 
combining the use of the arms, the pelvis, and the legs. What she's going to do is she's going to drag <coughs> the right arm in a wide circle above her head. That's going to cause her torso to roll to one side, and the legs on the other end of the torso are going to respond. So we're going to do that over eight counts. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> stop, this, stop this, sweetie. Note, the head has not lifted off the floor. It, roll, it remains on the floor, and the head and the pelvis are simultaneously or simultaneously rolling. You're going to find, especially the one with the fancy hairstyle, don't want to mess the hair up so they keep lifting the head of the floor. It, it can be quite a problem. Arm is completely extended, but no tension in the arm. Lots of air in the shoulder, in the shoulder joint, lots of air in the elbow, lots of air completely extended, far away from the center, but relaxed, no tension in it. We reverse that, add one, two, three, lying on the floor all the way, five, as we did earlier, seven, eight, other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, as you get more skilled at that, you slowly start to speed it up. So now we're going to take it over four counts. And uh, one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And one, two, three. And as, as I say, repetition, repetition, repetition. So you have to repeat it until your students are cracking it. Go double the speed again. And uh one, two, and one, two, and one, <coughs> two, and one. Relax. You see, now even as she speeds up, she's still working far from the center. You will find a lot of your students, the minute they start speeding up, they start pulling in because of the tension. Okay? We'll do twos again. And uh, one, two, and one, Two legs merely responding to the movement of the pelvis. Another two. And a one, two, see the legs are responding to the pelvis. And one, two, and now we go one count. And one, and back, and two, and back. We'll just do three, four, and four, and relax. Well done, child. Your Frau Rensha should be very proud. So now we're going a stage further. So the torso is now going to lift up off the floor. Here, you're going to pick up all sorts of problems, uh, particularly with the, with the young male dancer that have narrower hips and tighter joints. Okay? But it's not insurmountable. Okay? So I'm going to show you two versions of this. One with Keanu, who has slightly tighter joints, and then... Uh, Georgia will demonstrate the same thing. She's got looser joints, so life is easier for her. And she had your Renza as a teacher. So sit up for me, please. Sit up. Okay, just, just sit up. Okay. This is the position that we're looking at. Okay. Ideally, <coughs> you want a straight line from the top of your afro to your butt. Okay. Now, because Keanu... Is, uh, doesn't have that much movement in the hip here, you can see there's a bit of a tension in the spine. Né? So, but never mind about that. The tighter they are, the, the, a touch further, just sit, put your hands further away from you. That's it. The, the tighter they are down here, the further they should lean forward so that you attempt to make space in the spine this way so that the vertebrae aren't pushing down on top of each other so they're reaching out. Now, this is the position that we're working towards. Okay? So the exercise that leads us up there, he lies on his back. Okay. 
So, he's going to do what Georgia did earlier, but take it further and get up off the floor. So we're coming in this direction. And one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, other side, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, lean forward a bit, my boy, three, four, five, six, relax. Now I'm going to do it in four counts, but notice as we indicated earlier, the movement of the, the legs are responding to the movement from the torso. So we do that in four counts and uh, one, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and down. You can lean a little bit further for two counts and one, two, and down, two, and one, two, and down. Relax. Now, this is why I'm uh, uh, showing them separately. Because there is somewhat a limitation in the hip joint, in order to assist the movement, Keanu is now beginning to swing his arm. And the momentum of the arm is assisting the torso to get up off the floor. Okay? Very valid. The ones who don't need to do it obviously don't, but those who do can. So, and you're going to have students that are even tighter. Two counts. And uh, one, two, and down, two. And one, two, and down. One count. And one, and down. And two, and down. And three, and down. And four, and down. Relax. And you'll notice that the more tension there is, the more tension there is in the joints, uh, the more the student will struggle with speed. It's the student with, rele with released joints that struggle less with speed. Georgia has more range in the joints, so life becomes a lot easier for us. So just sit up for me, please, Georgia. So she can come a lot more upright. The spine is a lot more upright. She doesn't have to lean so far forward because she's got more range in the, the hip there and front and back. Okay? You, the, the, you must accommodate your students' bodies in the teaching. Lie on your back, sweetie. Now, George is not going to go through the, all from the eight. She's just going to do fours and twos and ones. And uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, twos, and one, two, and down, two, and one, two, and down, and one, and down, and two, we're going to do four, and three, and down, and four, and down. As I said, uh, more facility in the joint allows speed with a greater amount of ease. So it's easier for Georgia to move faster because of the air in the joints. And for all dancers, with all the work that we do, we try to get as much air into the joints as we possibly can. And that requires patience. Right, now we can do some work moving the leg from the back of the body to the front of the body while sitting on the floor and the other way around. Okay? Um, ideally, as with classical ballet, if the leg were to move from the derriere position, from the behind position, around the side into the front, it needs to increase the turnout. It needs to be turned out. But since this is introducing people to dance, uh, that may not be an easy task. So for this exercise, we're allowing them to work in a very relaxed way, turned in or parallel. Okay? So uh, we're going to do it separately. 
just to indicate very clearly that the looser joints with a bigger range find it easier. Okay? So all we're going to do is swing the leg from the back to the front. She's only going to do it four times. And we're going and uh, one and back and two and back and three and back and four and back. Okay, like a loss swing, just to get some air into it. Now, <clears throat> Keanu uh, is going to, uh, like most of your students, particularly your male students with the narrower hips, will struggle with this. Okay? But over a period of time, it is possible. Okay? So he just has slightly less range. Okay? But the action still happens. And uh, one and back and two and back and three and back and four and back. Okay? So because of the uh, less movement possibility in the, in the hips, when Keanu swings his leg, he has to use his back more. He's got to drop further down. Okay. So now we're going to do the other side together. And uh, one, and two, and three, last one, and four. Okay. We've developed a, a particular approach here at Garage, um, largely influenced by Byron's body, this position. And I remember when I started contemporary dance, before the Crimean War, just to sit in that position was hell for me. Um, I wouldn't advise as a teacher to do exactly what he's doing, to pull on the legs like that. Because whatever position they're sitting in, there needs to be a maximum of ease in the hip joints. And you achieve that by a couple of things allow them to move the feet further away from the body. So let go of the hand, oh, put your foot a fair bit. Okay. All right, she's anticipated me now because she's a very good student. And then also slightly more open. Slightly more open. Now drop your arms to your sides. It allows a lot more ease in the hip and it allows more space for the back to lift. Now. Keanu still can't straighten his back completely, so I would allow him to even open it even more out and then come forward, and then that's it, and then come forward, you see? Because what you're looking for here is ease in the joint. Now, having said that, we move on to the next exercise. So, put your legs behind you, kids. Okay. Now, when we bring the leg around to the front this time, we're going to turn it out. Okay? So, just swing and do it and stop. Go. Okay. As this is an introduction to the idea, this leg is a lot more bent than the other one because it allows more turnout. That leg is long and the heel is far away from the crutch. Okay? If they have to lean back, what's important is to keep the spine straight. And if they have to lean back and put their hands on the floor in order to get that, that is what they do at this stage. And put the leg behind you. Okay. So now we're just going to do that swing four times. Leg swinging from the back to the front. Turning out. Other leg in a relaxed position in order to facilitate that. And uh, one, and back, and two, and back, and three, and back, and four, and back. And turn around, then we do it on the other side. Now, you notice, and this is what makes it contemporary dance, is that legs and arms do not move in isolation of the rest of the body, okay? So other dance forms, you can do things with your legs and arms, and it doesn't affect this much. 
they're moving their legs, there is a huge amount of movement in the torso. So that connects the whole body. Okay? Parts aren't moving in isolation for this particular work in the contemporary dance. And uh, one, and back, and two, and back, and three, and back, and four, and back. One stage further. Um, so I'm just going to ask them to sit with your legs in front of him. As, okay. I remember when I said earlier on that for our students, or this is a preferred position at this point in time in their development um, in order to encourage more air into the joints. So now, what they have to do is, in the last point, she left her leg here, and she swings the leg around. Now, as they come around, they have to open the thighs and back, and open the thighs and back, which causes more action, uh, commitment in the legs. So put your legs behind you, and we'll just do four on each side, and up, one, and back, and two, see how they open the thighs, and three, and extend the spine, and four, and back, okay? At this stage of their development, they're still leaning slightly back, but the important thing is, as I said earlier on, the spine is straight. We'll do that last time on the other side. Ooh, very disciplined students from Byron class. Ready, and uh, one, and back, and two, and back, and three, and back, and four. Excellent. 